If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com. Hey, Christopher, Christopher Wake. matters on for trial and I have is it two complaints there are two complaints your honor um, and my witnesses are in the hallway um, I do just need to alert the court to two uh, changes that the state are going to is going to be asking to amend okay so the complaint is that the vehicle was parked at a meter between eight and five after legal parking time had lapsed So these are two different. The complaint alleging um, the violation at 3.33 p.m., um, that should allege a violation at Washington Street. Um, right now it states Main Street. Okay. Do you have any objection to that? Do you agree that it was Washington Street? No, I'm not. Um... And just for the record, you are Mr. Wade? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, um, I, that's not, that's not what I have. In the, I mean, it's not, that's not what's in the complaint, I do object. Okay, so I think the state is requesting that the complaint be amended to read Washington Street. Is that, am I? Yes, just the correctly? complaint alleging the violation at 333. The times are different, so there's one that alleges the violation on Main Street at 1.42 p.m. The state's not asking to change that location. Um, the one that alleges the violation at 3.33 p.m., the state's asking to change to Washington Street. Um, that's, not a, that's not part of the body of the complaint. Um, it really has to do with notice. Um, I believe that the defendant uh, would have received a ticket on the vehicle itself um, and there are different times distinguishing on the complaints, um, so the location is not a material element of the complaint, um, and there's case law to support the state's ability to amend the complaint. So the complaint that I have is not the ticket that he would have received on the window or on his car, on his vehicle that day? Correct. They, okay. they have different types of parking. Okay. So do you understand that, sir? That she is alleging that um, it was a an error, a Scrivener's error, correct? Is that where you're alleging yes. that it should have been Washington Street and it's Main Street? Um, <clears throat> I... I mean, I object to a changing of the complaint because I, my, my understanding was, you know, that, that was my understanding, that's what, what I was told in the complaint. Yes. He provided any notice prior to today of this amendment that was going to go forward? No, Your Honor. Um, so, based on the fact that he has not had any notice of this change, I am not going to allow, I'm not going to grant that motion to amend that complaint. Because he was prepared to go forward on the main street. So we'll proceed with the other. Okay. And the other one's correct. It is main street. Correct. Okay. And um, I do see that the hearing notices have it as Christopher Ward. Um, just for the purposes of the record, it is Christopher Wade, W-A-I-D. Okay. okay, so sir, we're going to just go forward now with the one complaint. Okay. Okay. Um, prior to swearing the witnesses, the state's going to be asking to admit as an exhibit a certified copy of the defendant's motor vehicle registration. Okay. Do you have any objection to this? Um. I'm sorry, um, could, could you say that again? 
The state is requesting to admit the defendant's certified motor vehicle registration as an exhibit for the court. I, I object to that too. This was not pre presented as a, in my list of evidence. Would you like to be heard? I don't know that. I don't have um, a written request for discovery, so I'm not aware of if he did request that. Um, and if the defendant is objecting to that, um, then the state would have no objection to a continuance, although I don't think that that's quite a valid reason. Um, the state um, did send the defendant a witness list, um, but I don't have anything in my file to indicate that he made a written request um, of the police department of discovery, which is required before we can send um, documents of that nature. Um, and if the defendant is objecting and the court is inclined to grant that objection today, um, then the state's proposal is that the remedy would be a continuance such that he can review that document and do whatever he needs to do with that document prior to trial. Did you submit a written request for discovery? Um, I was under my understanding that I didn't need to submit it because it was already, I already received a, a, a list. What did you receive a list of? Just um, the witness list? Yeah, I received the witness list, which would have included the discovery, so. Okay, so um, it is a certified copy, so I'm inclined to allow it in. If you need more time to prepare based on the fact that you didn't receive it, I will continue this. Otherwise, we can proceed. Okay, can you give me a minute to think about this? Sure. Can I just go and notify the one witness that she can Yes, have? thank you. I, I would like, actually, a uh, continuance. Do you want to wait one second, then? Sorry. W would you like to just wait one second? Sir? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, how much time do you need, sir? Um... And I would just indicate that if the defendant is asking for continuance, the state's going to be refiling that other complaint as corrected with the correct location. Mm You know what, I, I think I can continue if this is what the prosecution would like to do. Okay. Then you may excuse that one witness. Thank you, I'll do that when I go out to get uh, the other witness. Okay. And then, um, so the state is, may it, Thank you. So this is state's exhibit A. And then the state would also be asking the court to take judicial notice of the city ordinance alleged in the complaint. I do have a copy for the court. It is my only copy. And the court will take judicial notice of that. Yes, please. Thank you. And then the state would just need to go get their witnesses. Okay. You can have a seat, sir. Okay. I, I would like to re request the sequester of the witnesses. Okay. Well, when she comes back in, okay. let's do that when she's present.
Do you have multiple witnesses for this case? Just one. Okay. Um, there was a request when you stepped out. He requested that the witnesses be sequestered. Okay. There is only one witness for this particular complaint. Do you have any witnesses? Um, no. Okay. So there's only one witness, so there's nobody to sequester. Okay. And raise your right hand. Do you swear the testimony that you'll give today will be the truth under the pains and penalties of perjury? I do. And you can put your hand down and take a seat. Thank you. And you state your first and last name for the record. Uh, the first name is Linda. Last name is DeRusso. It's L-I-N-D-A, common spelling. And DeRusso, D-E-S-R-U-I-S-S-E-A-U-X. And uh, Linda, where are you currently employed? We're the City of Keene. And what is your role with the City of Keene? I work in the Parking Services Department. And what do you, what are your duties and responsibilities in the Parking Services Department? To enforce the ordinances as pertaining to parking. And um, in particular, um, what is the ordinance at issue um, in this particular incident? The violation was for an expired meter. And what is the ordinance um, that covers an expired meter? That between the hours of 8 and 5, there are designated parking metered spaces that have to have time on them. If there are, or if they are expired, then we issue a ticket for expired meter. And how does one um, add time to a meter? By coins, or now we have an app that they can use on their phone. And were you working your capacity for the City of Keene on December 14th, 2017? Yes. And that afternoon, specifically, um, just after 1.30 p.m., can you describe what you were doing? I was walking in the center section of Main Street and observed the car that I had hit, put a ticket on at meter 228, which is the center section across from Gilbo Ave. I'm sorry, I didn't hear the end of what you said about, can you just restate what you said? I was walking on Main Street in the center section of Main Street, and I observed an expired meter, and uh, that was meter 228, which is located down across Gilbo Ave. And uh, did you do anything to document the vehicle that was at parked in that meter? Yes, I wrote a ticket which entails the entering the plate Objection. number. Objection. Um, she's reviewing, looking at notes, not, not testifying from her head. I would direct the witness not to look at any notes during your testimony, just testify from memory. And if you are unable to recall any information, please just indicate that for the record. Okay. Um, so if you could um, continue with your testimony in terms of what action you took um, upon observing that vehicle. At an expired meter? Correct. So I entered the information, which includes the plate number, the vehicle type in color, and the location of the meter, which has a number on it. And I entered that as well. And what was the license plate of the vehicle um, parked in the meter that you're describing? It was 4028211. And if I may just approach the witness. Oh, and yes, sorry, them. yes. And may I have access to State's Exhibit A? Yes. I'm showing you a document. If you could just take a moment to look at the document. Um, uh, what, what document are we looking at? It was the State's Exhibit 1. It's the, okay. it, I mean, A, it's the, the, your certi the certified copy of your registration. Okay. Okay. And, um, in looking on this document, are you able to locate um, where the registration is, um, sorry, where the, um, the numbered registration is for this particular um, individual? The plate number? Correct. Yes. And what is the plate number reflected on that document? 402-8211. Thank you. And um, is that the same plate that you observed in the parking spot um, that you're referring to today? Yes. And in terms of, um,
can you <coughs> can you describe what observations you made of the parking meter itself to determine that it had been expired? It was flashing zeros. And in that particular location of meter 228, um, can you describe um, who owns the property um, directly in front of that meter covered by um, that meter? I don't understand the question. The meter, what area does it cover? Who owns that property that it's covered? The city of Keene on Main Street. And uh, can you state um, during what time of day that you observed that vehicle to be parked in that spot? It was uh, 1343. And um, I assume you're stating the time in military time. Can you state it in non-military time? Yes, yeah, 143. And um, upon writing the ticket, what did you do with it? Put it in an envelope that we have, the ticket itself, and putting it under the windshield wipers on the driver's side. And um, as you're writing the ticket, is it documented in any other way? Well, it's electronically in the machine, and then it gets synced at the end of the day. the end of my day. And who was the individual um, that the ticket was given to? Uh, Christopher Wade. And how did you determine that? Objection. Was um, she couldn't possibly know that. I do know. That was my next question. Hold on. Um, that objection's overruled. I'm going to let her inquire more. Oh, okay. How were you able to determine that it was Mr. Wade who was issued the ticket? Because he came in immediately that same day for a court complaint, and I happened to be in there when he did. And uh, do you see Mr. Wade in the courtroom today? Yes. Where is he located? Sitting right here. Your Honor, will the record reflect that the witness has identified the defendant? It will. Um, do you recall if Mr. Wade said anything that day when he came into the office? If it was, it wasn't directed to me. I have no further questions of this witness. Do you have any questions for this witness? Uh, yeah, I do. <clears throat> um, so what was the color of um, the car? The color of that you ticketed? Maroon. Um, how long was the car parked at the meter? No way of knowing that. How much change was put into the meter? I have no way of knowing that. Did you calibrate the meter that morning? No. Do you have any way of knowing that the meter was functioning properly? I have no reason to believe why it wasn't. Do you have any means of knowing that it was keeping accurate time? I have no reason to know that it wasn't. Who is the city? Who is the city? Who is the city? city of Keene? Yes, who is the city of Keene? I would object to the form of that question. I'm not sure that the witness is able to comprehend even what that question is asking. I certainly do. It's know. related to a, a following question that you'll understand the... Can you rephrase the question? Um, 
Well, it, it directly pertains to what I'm being charged with here. So it, it, the, the charge says the, the, the city of, uh, let's see if I can find it here. The, the charge doesn't relate to um, uh, the drivers, it relates to uh, the city of Keene. So um, I want to know, am I the city of Keene? So that's your question? Yeah. Is Mr. Wade the yeah, city is of Yes, Mr. Keene? Christopher Wade the city of Keene? Are you able to answer that question? No, I, I don't understand it. Okay. So that's the answer to the question. She doesn't understand your question. Okay. Um, <laughs> Um, can you identify the city of Keene for me? Geographically? Um, is the city of Keene a government? A local government. Okay, I think that answers the question. I would like to motion um, to dismiss as 49-152.b.1 uh, only authorizes the city uh, to implement parking meters and I am not the city as the witness has just demonstrated. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Um, so, so are you, according are to- Are you done questioning this witness? Do you have any further I, questions I have a, this witness? Well, I'm motioning to dismiss. So when based you're done with the, the witness, witness, then would be the appropriate time to argue a motion to dismiss? Okay. Do you have any other questions for this witness? Um, give me a minute and I'll, I'll see if any other questions are now relevant given that we have one as opposed to two witnesses. Uh, I do have some more questions actually. Okay. Um, do parking meters ever fail? Um, or... Um, uh, in or as a result of uh, bad weather? Weather, no. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? No, weather, no. Weather never causes the parking meters to fail? No. Oh, interesting. Um, was it cold that day? It was December 14th. I would have to look back and see. I am not exactly what the temperature was. Okay. Um, was there snow on the ground? I don't recall. Okay, fair enough. Um, did you see me exit the car? No. When I approached, um, when I approached the car, um, after you had written the ticket, uh, I mean immediately after you had written the ticket, um, did I do anything unusual? I didn't even see you. Okay, did, did you see me at any point following Writing the ticket? Like when? Within an hour or within even a few minutes of having written the ticket? Yeah, you were following me after that, okay, but I didn't so I see you until you came up behind me. Okay, fair enough. Um, so you would say you, you did see me then? Right. Immediately not following as the I was putting the ticket on the car. No. Okay, but immediately following the ticket. Uh, writing the ticket. Sometime after. Within a I car or two away? Would be fair? No, That'd be fair? No, it would be farther than Within that. five cars then? At least almost halfway up that center section of Main Street. Okay, half a, not even half a block then. I heard you before I seen you. Okay, so fair enough. You did identify the fact that I was, I was there. I okay. You, yes. Um... Do you associate me with any uh, political or other groups? Objection relevance. Um, uh, um, it's the credibility of the witness. Sustained. Ask a different question. Um, Is 
Is there any reason uh, that you would uh, be dis predisposed to not tell the truth today because of any affiliations that, or associations that you have with me? No, I always tell the truth. Have you ever seen psychological counseling as the result of any associations with me or people you know that are connected to me? Objection relevance. Credibility of the witness. I don't think you've put enough forward, laying a foundation for that, that objection sustained. Um, When I was at uh, the city in the city hall building uh, in the parking uh, the parking department, um, you had made some comments about me, uh, derogatory comments, and um, what what uh, um, between you and uh, your colleagues um, there, uh, other city employees. Um, Um, what, what can we, um, let's see, how can I ask this? What steps did you, uh, or what, 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 what was the communications between you and your employees in regards, in regards to attempting to punish me for being there? I have no idea what you're talking about. Do you recall the conversation that you had with another colleague while I was there? Objection asked and answered. I'm going to allow that question. I don't think it was asked and answered. Could you re restate the question, please? Yeah. Um, what was the... Did you... You recall me being in the parking uh, department when I was requesting a trial, correct? At the window? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And you were having a conversation with other employees, is that no, correct? No, that is not correct. You didn't have any conversations? No. While I was filming not, with other employees? Not to have anything to do with what you were there for. So you admit having a conversation about me? No. Not okay. about filming? I'm sorry, not about what? I don't filming? I don't recall that. No, I don't, I don't. But you do, so, so you recall me being there. I would you, object again because at the time she wrote the ticket, she's already testified that she didn't know whose vehicle it was at the, at the time. Um, so I don't see how after the fact any of this is relevant in terms of the actual charge that we're here for today for an expired meter. Again, it directly relates to the credibility of the witness. If the, if the witness has a bias against me, um, then I the witness should be dismissed. I asked if she has a bias. I'm going to sustain the objection and you just need to pose the question um, in a more direct way for her to be able to answer. Did you have any ill feelings towards me? No. <laughs> Do you
did you were you upset with my conduct in any way well it was disturbing thank you Okay, I'm uh, done with this witness, and I would like to motion to dismiss. Hold on. So you don't have any further questions for this witness? No. Okay. Do you have any follow-up questions? Yes, I do, Your Honor. In terms of the particular meter at issue in this case um, and its um, ability to function, um, that day did you receive any sort of notification of any issues with that meter? No. Did um, the individual whose car was parked at that meter and received a ticket, did he raise any issues with, with its functionality that day? That day, no. And um, did the meters require calibration in any certain duration, duration of period of time? No, not really. And when you were writing uh, the ticket for the particular vehicle at issue here, um, at the time of writing the ticket, were you aware of who the registered owner was of that vehicle? No. And um, how is the registered um, owner of the vehicle discovered? When you ask for a court date. I have no further questions of the witness. Based on that redirect, do you have any questions for the witness? Um, so, <coughs> yeah, I do have some more questions. Um, so you don't know who the, who, who parked the vehicle in that spot? No, oh. we don't. Um, so none of your testimony actually relates to me then, correct? I would object based on the form of the question. I mean, I think it's pretty clear that there's a good amount of the testimony that does relate to the registered owner of the vehicle, which would again, I didn't say the registered owner of the vehicle. I, I said me. I, I I'm going to overrule the objection. The question is, do you have? Can you state the question again? Um. Do you have any testimony related to you? Was that the question? Yeah, any testimony related to me? Uh, the testimony that I've I've heard today is is, is not. Is not related to well, yeah. So that's what I'm asking: is do you have any testimony? Is the, is the testimony that you've given today uh, of my vehicle, or is is it of me? Your vehicle. Okay. Any further questions? Um. Um. No further questions. We all sat with this witness. Yes, sir. You may step down. Thank you. And can, am I able to make the motion to dismiss? Does the state rest? Correct. Okay. Now you may. Okay. I would like to make a motion to dismiss um, as 49-152.B.1. Uh, um, only authorizes this city to implement parking meters and does not um, apply to me. Could you, could you
Could you state the section again that you're referring to? Yeah, so 94-152.B.1. Okay. All right, that's what I was, that's what this is about, this case. And this it authorizes the city to implement parking meters, but does not apply to me. It, it's only the authorization um, for parking meters, not. There's no penalty. It, it's not, it's not applicable to me. And, and I'm requesting the dismissal of the, the witnesses. I'm sorry, what? I, I, the I'm requesting the dismissal of the witnesses. Which witnesses? The, wit the witnesses that we had. Okay. Um, well, I think we're holding them until I make a ruling because if you okay. offer any testimony that there would be rebuttal for, we would need them here. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, of, this, of, uh, of Linda, that specific witness I, I'm referring okay. to. Okay, but again, I make a ruling on your motion to dismiss yep. if you were to offer testimony and there was a need for a rebuttal that she would have to testify to we wouldn't be dismissing her from the case yet is that are, are we talking about excusing her from today or am no, I misunderstanding no, no, no. what you're to saying to dismiss her testimony testimony okay. because it's not relevant to the charge okay um, do you have anything further you want to um, state on your argument for the motion to dismiss um, I, I think I've I think I've summed it up. Okay. Okay. Would you like to be heard? Yes, Your Honor. Um, the defendant is subject to uh, the Keene City ordinances, and um, specifically, the witness testified that the location of the vehicle was in city-owned property. It was subject to a metered space um, that had not been um, paid for in terms of the ability to park there during the specified hours. I'd also. Um, Sorry, and I, I, I believe he raised the point that the ordinances didn't apply to him. Um, it does apply. He's the registered owner of the vehicle. The vehicle was parked in a space owned by the city of Keene. So I think, I'm sorry, did you have any more you wanted to add? No, Your Honor. Okay, so I think the argument that is being put forth is that the complaint itself cites the RSA, um, which presumably is the ordinance, as 94152-B one correct and which reads that the city is authorized to install parking meters to control parking each parking space will be delineated by lines to direct the placement of the vehicle in the space suitable signs indicating the parking restrictions and regulations applicable will be posted in each zone so the complaint is alleging that correct and that is the section of the ordinance that applies to the situation in terms of it's a metered spot um, And then I do see that there is section two, um, and the state can ask to amend for clarity that also section two applies, or it can simply strike um, the B1 and only remain then that he's subject to the entire provision of Objection, that's, that's not what we heard at, here at trial for today. Okay, so um, based on the representation of the defendant, I, I'm gonna dismiss it. I think that the site was, it was miscited in the The state's going to file a motion to reconsider citing all of the laws that do permit the state to amend complaints even after trial has started. Okay. If you um, file that, I will happily review that. Thank you. We'd like to invite you to visit freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters. <laughs>